Hello everyone and welcome back to another What I Eat in a Day video. I'm going to take you through my whole day and show you everything I ate in one day. I'm so excited to announce that we had finally found celery this week. So we're back on the celery juice. I juiced this very large head of celery and it came to about, I think this was 500 milliliters of here, there and about. <laughs> it was so amazing, I really missed it. And then moving on to breakfast, about half an hour later, I had my delicious banana ice cream. So I chopped up my frozen baby Thai bananas. I added half of them to the blender with a bit of cocoa powder and I blended that up smooth to start. Then I added it into my serving bowl and because I was doing two halves, I made sure to keep it onto one side as best as possible. And while I was blending up the other half, I added that into the freezer to keep cold. So then goes the other half of the frozen bananas and frozen strawberries. I blended that smooth. I took the chocolate and ice cream out of the freezer and then I added in the strawberry banana ice cream right next to it. I'm so in love with these baby Thai bananas. They're so thick and dense, and honestly, they make the banana ice cream so much more rich and velvety than the regular Cavendish bananas you guys find in the West. Once it was all added to my serving bowl, I just took my spoon and smoothed it out as neatly as possible, you know, for Instagram pictures. Then I topped it with some frozen strawberries. I just chopped them into little bits and just placed them on there as neatly as possible. And then here's the final result. It is creamy, it is sweet, it's filling, it's nutritious, it's absolutely perfection to start the day with. Usually if I crave a lunch, if I am a little bit hungry, it's more like a snack size. So when I cut open these papayas, I thought mm, they don't really look that good. Even though the outside skin was yellow and it was soft and it smelled very, very sweet, it was a bit tricky it definitely tricked me because these papayas definitely weren't very good so i would say i ate and picked through about half of the amount here so in total i probably ate one of these papayas it was perfect though it was the good amount for me as like a small afternoon snack size And then moving on to dinner, I had my big feast. So into my saucepan, I added my mixed vegetables. There's pumpkin, carrot, cabbage, green beans, um, broccoli. I added in a red pepper. These are bamboo shoots, as well as some two different types of mushrooms. So into the pan, everything goes there. I also add in some distilled water and then I steam it. I typically like to steam my veggies for about 20 or so minutes just to make sure everything's cooked well. Then into my salad bowl, I have some green leaf lettuce, some mung bean sprouts, some chopped cilantro, and halfway through the time of steaming my veggies, I like to give them a stir with these tongs to make sure everything is cooking evenly. For something fresh, before I got into my salad for dinner, I decided to have it to two parts like I sometimes do. So my part one dinner was a few apples here. They were crisp and juicy and they were just calling my name. So um, I chopped up three of them. I actually ended up just eating three of them. For something different on this day, I wanted to try out these mung bean noodles. They were just completely based and the ingredient was 100% mung bean. So it's mung bean vermicelli. I'm not sure if any of you have ever tried them before. I thought it would be a really cool treat to have some noodles. So all I did was kind of press them down to the bottom of the saucepan where all of the hot water was and I just let it sit for about five minutes and then they were fully cooked. Once they were cooked and the veggies were fully cooked, I added it all into my serving bowl with the lettuce and the mung bean sprouts and the cilantro. Then I dolloped on a few portions of mustard. I'm loving mustard in my salads lately. It's definitely one of my faves, my go-to. And I just gave it a really, really good stir. Here's the final result. I have my part one of my chopped apples, three of those apples that I said to you. They were actually much, much better than the apples we were getting before. So we found, finally found some good sources of apples. And then for my dinner part two, I had this super savory noodle veggie salad. If you guys like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more. I will see you next time.